Welcome everyone to a new and improved season of Catching Gold Digger. So for this video, we rented out a luxury home and bugged it with a bunch of cameras and microphones in order to help JP find out if his girlfriend Candace was a gold digger. In other words, we were about to put Candace to the test. So I'm really making a long story short here, but one of the reasons that JP thinks Candace could be a gold digger is because he feels that she only hangs out with him when he's willing to spend money on her. The energy should be like almost equal and it's gotcha. it's like 80% me, 20% gotcha. her, and the only time it is her is when there's some sort of monetary thing involved. Now JP wasn't the only one who felt that way. Our mutual friend Yokes also felt that Candace could be a gold digger. I see you guys going out all the time to eat uh, dinner on his, on his Instagram uh, story like I, I like doing all those things too. It's not like I'm just being dragged along to these big expensive things. Like right. I'm into that as much as you guys are too, but it's just that I don't really want to invest it in that kind of person if it's not really worth it. Right. If this isn't worth it, I could be using that money as a catalyst to do so many other gotcha. things. And that it's makes just... sense. Now, like Yokes, JP is also an entrepreneur, and his latest preneur has been building his own clothing brand. Now, the good news is that clothing brand is doing good, but the bad news is that JP can't invest as much money in it as he wants to because he's spending it all on Candace. Yeah, clothing line's booming right now. We're actually working on a few different contracts with that, but I feel like it could be moving a lot faster. Dude, but your business right now, stay focused on that, bro, gotcha. because like use that money yeah. to make yourself more money and get you farther there's, that's there's, gonna help you right now the, you go this, to the next this is level. like a drug addict telling me i gotta stop <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is horrible how do you think everything's gonna turn out i i just don't know what to think about it mm -hmm. you know like there's no good answer coming out of this mm -hmm. if i'm right then everything falls apart if i'm wrong then i have right. my trust in her is just gone and that looks bad well you wanted this to happen we made it happen we're here we put this together even though we spent a lot of money on this and time on it right. you could still back out I, we're okay with you backing out still <laughs> we're, we're in it we're in it and i like as much as i hate this i need the answer So as always, the way that we were gonna be finding out if Candace was a gold digger or not was by having one of my friends pretend to be rich and then ask her on a date. That friend's name was Ken. Ken will be asking Candace on a date downstairs while JP will be hiding upstairs in the house that we rented. Thanks to all the cameras and microphones that we set up, JP will be able to watch and listen in as his girlfriend either accepts or declines going on a date with Ken. Now remember, before Ken could even ask Candace on a date, we first had to have Candace believe that Ken was really, really rich. To accomplish this, we were gonna be using four tools. The first tool was the luxury house that we rented out. We wanted Ken to pretend that this was his house. The second tool was one of Ken's real business checks. We're supposedly writing it out for $50,000. The third tool is a safe. We're gonna be filling that safe with prop money sent to us by Prop Movie Money. And finally, the fourth and final tool were more of our friends. The first friends was Leo. He was gonna be playing the role of Ken's chef. The second friend was Loris. He was gonna be playing the role of Ken's house cleaner. Side note, by the way, this man is the worst housekeeper considering that he cleaned the whole freaking house with carpet cleaner. Literally, he cleaned the whole house with carpet cleaner. He cleaned the mirror, he cleaned the desk, he cleaned everything with carpet cleaner. <laughs> okay, but anyways, any individual who has his own chef and his own house cleaner ought to be making some really good money, right? Well, coupled with our other three tools, that's the conclusion that we're hoping that Candace comes to about Ken. All I know is if she's hungry, she might fail because it's smelling really it's good, good in here right now. <laughs> now to even use those four tools, we had to come up with a way to get Candace to that house. Needless to say, we eventually did, but it wasn't easy and it was very risky. Hey, hello? Hey. Hey. Hey, I'm just checking to see if you're still able to drop off the dog uh, tonight. Okay, I just wanted to double check. I'm about to go back into work, but I just wanted to double check, and I guess I'll see you later after everything's done. Yes, you heard that correctly. We got Candace to come to the house by getting her to drop off a dog. That dog was Ken's actual dog, Button. So the night before test day, JP came over because Ken had given him permission to pick a Button and take him home for the night. Our plan was very simple and straightforward. We wanted Button to quote unquote go missing with the hope that Candace would return him to his owner. We gave JP instructions that the following day he was to take Button and the flyer to Candace's house and tell her, hey, I just found this dog, but I can't return him because I work. Can you return him and we'll split the $1,000 reward? Now granted, this plan was risky because we only had one shot, but it was all up to JP to convince his girl girlfriend that returning button would probably be the easiest money that she'd ever make. My, my heart is beating. My heart is literally beating right now. The next day, JP texted us when he was successful, and that's when we proceeded to giving her a call. We didn't even wait for her to call Ken. 
Hello. Hi, hi, Candace. Yes, uh, Hi, this this is uh this is Ken. Um, I, I talked to your boyfriend earlier today. Um, he says that you have button, right? Honestly, like, w w do you think you'd be able to come by tonight? Because I, I really have to head out first thing in the morning for this meeting that I have. So we thought Candace was going to be head over heels for returning button and getting a thousand bucks. I mean, a thousand bucks is a thousand bucks, but she was not in a rush to return him. Tonight? Um, I don't know. I've kind of got a lot going on. I mean, is there any way to like see tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> the look on this man's face when she said that. <laughs> She probably was like, oh, I could probably sell this guy online for more and get more money. <laughs> well, actually, um, like the thing is, is I, I really have to leave somewhere first thing in the morning. We wanted Button back that night. So what we decided to do was raise the reward in order to entice Candace to drop him off that night. Like, so I, I know it's really last minute, I'm sorry, but what if, what if I bumped up the amount to $1,500? Do you think that might be something that, you know, would encourage you to come out tonight more? <laughs> So she was a little hesitant, but luckily she let us know that she would be able to drop Button off later, later in the nighttime, like a lot later than we thought she would. Okay, yeah, that, that works out perfectly, actually. I'll text you uh, the address and I'll see you tonight, okay? So from there, all we did was text Candace the address to the house that we rented, and that's how we managed to get her to that house. And she will be arriving very, very soon here. Can Can you just send? Do you think you can just send me a photo of Button maybe in the next like minute or so? I just I just want to see how he is. <laughs> Honestly, I just want to get this over with. I mean, like, I, I, I know what you, you want yeah. to see the outcome, and I, I just want my dog back. <laughs> so as you guys know, we've set up and hidden our cameras and our microphones to capture video and audio. They are aiming towards and positioned near the areas that we instructed Ken to see Candace at when she arrives. JP is already upstairs, prepared to watch and listen in to a nervous Ken ask his girlfriend on a date via a live visual and audio feed that we've provided to him. With everything ready to go and as Candace's arrival approaches, we seclude ourselves to our command center. This is where JP will be hiding as Candace is being tested. Just a regular day for you guys. It's actually, uh, it's actually a little more difficult this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see that. With all yeah. the equipment. <laughs> so Ken has actually been keeping in touch with Candace throughout this entire evening, and he is about to receive the text message that we've all been waiting for. Candace has finally arrived. Okay, it is time to pay very close attention because things are about to get very intricate. So Candace will be walking through the front door at any moment now, and our plan will officially be set into motion. Ken will begin walking through that plan and use the tools that we provided him to make himself look super rich. All I know, bro, is whatever happens, we're still getting to the cash. <laughs> God, more of it now. So with Candace now outside, Ken texts her that he accidentally misplaced the check that he was going to pay her her reward with, and he now has to look for it. Therefore, he's sending his housekeeper, Loris, outside to bring her inside as he does so. My hand's starting to shake. Oh man. So on top of watching and listening to our team executing our plan, I'm also gonna be communicating with them to make sure that everything goes as planned. Everything underneath, underneath, Thanks underneath your there. shirt, sir. Can try to hide it as much as you can, but if she asks about it, or if you want to even just address it, just be like, oh, I just like to stay connected to like my housekeepers, my workers. Laura now steps outside to fetch Candace, and moments later. He returns with her and Button. Button! Oh my god! I mean, there little guy. Ah! He says, I miss you so much. I thought I'd never see you again. After being apart for a little over a day, Ken is finally reunited with Button. Their reunion is short, though, because Ken knows that we must continue with our plan, which means that we now gotta get Button and Loris out of there. Thank you so much for bringing him back. Yeah. No problem at all. Okay, Laris, grab Button, head upstairs. So as Ken expresses his gratitude, Laris quickly scoops up Button and begins making his way upstairs. Both of their jobs are officially complete. They executed them flawlessly, and now it's time for them to join us. He's the root of all the evil that <laughs> may or may not be happening. Do you mind um, following me to the kitchen really quick? Yeah. Like, like I said, I, I totally um, forgot where I placed your check, but if you don't mind giving me one second, I'll look for it really quick. Have a seat right here. Awesome. As Ken noticed that Loris was exiting, he proceeded to seating Candace exactly where we wanted him to. What Let's happens if she doesn't want to sit in that seat? You're gonna make her sit in that seat. That's the thing, you don't give her a choice. You're in control. This is uh, Leo, he's actually my chef. <laughs> Master chef? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm gonna leave you guys to get acquainted. I'm, I'm gonna get your check really quick. Okay, okay? Yeah. let me take a look for it. Give me one second. You're looking for a check? I thought I saw a check in here. I'm pretty sure it's the one you're looking for. No, no, I left it somewhere upstairs. 
All right, so this is where things start to get interesting. So Candace believes that Ken is headed upstairs to look for her check. At the same time though, she also just heard Leo say that he saw that check in one of the drawers in the kitchen. Now, unfortunately for Candace, Ken isn't actually gonna be looking for a check, but Leo on the other hand is. And well, he's going to find one because earlier that day, we did place a check in that drawer. 15 more seconds, Leo, 15 more seconds. As I'm sure many of you have figured though, the check that Leo will find will not be the check that Candace is expecting. It instead will be the $50,000 check that we wrote out. Leo, get to your lines. And so after pretending to look for it, Leo eventually finds the check and just hands it to Candace. <laughs> So obviously Candace is stunned. She is getting yet another glimpse at Ken's supposed wealth. Uh, I'm pretty sure this isn't for me. This isn't the right check. It isn't for you. Wait, no, it's not for you? No, definitely not for me. It's... Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, you're, you're not a sugar baby. It's what? A sugar baby. <laughs> Okay, so I have not been fully honest with you guys. See, the truth is, Ken will not be asking Candace on a date. He instead will be asking her if she will be interested in becoming his sugar baby. Maybe you can say you're the owner of a security company. Maybe you can say that's one of your companies. Okay. That way you have like all this stuff. You, you could just say, I don't know, I'm, I own a security company. Okay. Or I don't know. You, remember, you're an entrepreneur, you're a business guy, you own all sorts of things. Okay. The bottom line is, we're not just trying to find out if Candace would be unfaithful or not. We're trying to find out how capable she is of using JP for his money, which is why we had Leo ask her if she was Ken's sugar baby. If Candace really is a gold digger, then becoming Ken's sugar baby will be a dream come true. No, that's... <laughs> Well, that's definitely not me. I'm just the one who's returning the lost dog. <laughs> now, Leo asking Candace that question was also Ken's cue to re-enter the scene. Uh, I've been looking around, but I don't. I can't seem to find it anywhere. I just don't know where I left your check. What, what, are, you, what are you holding in your hand? Uh, he just gave this to me uh, because he thought I was your sugar baby. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this, this is kind of awkward. So just as quickly as Leo brought up the sugar baby topic, we have Ken completely dismiss it. At least for now that is. Hey, Ken, do you want to take a walk with me? Let's get off the topic of the sugar baby thing. Leo, let's just, let's just get back to cooking. Sorry about that. No, uh, like, totally fine. So as I was saying, um, I couldn't find your check, so I'm just gonna have to give you cash instead. Right. You, you can have a seat actually. Ken moves Candace from the kitchen over to the couch exactly how he wanted him to in order to supposedly pay her in cash. He will soon bring up the sugar baby topic and offer Candace the $50,000 check, which is why he also brought that with him. But before we can do that, we first want him to open the safe. I wonder what's going on in here. Probably a lot of cash. See, in order for Candace to believe that the check is real, she first must believe that Ken is rich. The check, the house, the chef, and the housekeeper all helped with that. But what's really gonna speak volumes is the cold hard cash that we put in the safe. Which again, is just prop money, but from a distance, it looks hella hella real. How many millions you got in here? <laughs> What's your safe code over here, man? Leo, you're gonna make your exit in a little bit. Remember, when you hear him switch the dial, that's when you make your exit. Let me try this out. So Ken turns the dial to open the safe, and on cue, Leo exits the scene and makes his way upstairs to us. Also coordinated, it's crazy. <laughs> well, as soon as Ken opens that safe, we will complete our goal into making him look rich. And from there, we could move on to Ken asking Candace to become his sugar baby. But unfortunately, there was one minute problem standing in our way. <laughs> Is he struggling with the safe? What? Can he not get the safe open? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Struggling with the safe. That is right. Ken had no idea how to open the safe. So, um, how's uh, how's your uh, how's your night going? My night. Yeah, what'd you do today? Um, I mean, I just ran some errands. <laughs> He's struggling. He's really struggling. I didn't, I didn't even think this guy was gonna need help opening it. This has been the weirdest day of my life. <laughs> It's really hard to open this thing up sometimes. It's like how you went old school, like, you know, you didn't, you didn't do like a fingerprint. You know what, I, I just don't trust those things, you know what I mean? I just really don't because of who I am, you know? Like, a lot of people, they're trying to impersonate me because you know how, like, Asians, like, we pretty much, like, all look alike? <laughs> it's three times past zero to the right, two times past zero to the left, and one time past zero to the right again. 44, right. 17, 84. Thank God for those walkie talkies because without them, I don't know how we were gonna get Ken to open that safe. I was gonna say this is a sign that we should just go. But, <laughs> but with Ken now obtaining the proper knowledge on how to properly open that safe, he now confidently picks up where he left off. So random question. What would you do with um fifty thousand dollars? Well what what would I do with fifty thousand yeah. dollars? Like what would you do with fifty thousand dollars? 
oh my god i you know honestly like i've never owned fifty thousand dollars so i wouldn't even know where to begin would you like would you i don't know would you buy a car with it or you know would you do you have debt that you need to pay off is there is there anything that you know in particular that you would do i mean i do have a lot of student loans so i might you know knock those out got it oh perfect nice so the safe is open and Candace has a good view of all the cash that we left in there. And that means that we have successfully executed our plan. The real test though is about to begin. Absolutely pay attention because this is where he's going to pitch the whole, yo, I actually am looking for a sugar baby. You want to be my sugar baby and whatnot. And yes. Okay. That's where the magic happens. Yeah. Oh, hopefully oh, not. So as you guys know, up until this moment, we have been in control over everything. However, our control ends here. Our elaborate and intricate plan has been completed and Candace should be under the impression that Ken is rich, which means that it's now gonna be completely up to her if she ends up agreeing or declining to become Ken's sugar baby. So uh, as you know, I have a check here for $50,000. Right, for your sugar baby. <laughs> No, for my potential sugar baby. <laughs> I'm being honest, I'm being honest. I, I just, I really just don't want to be funding someone's negative habits, if you get what I'm saying. $50,000, it's it's a lot of money, right? Yeah, definitely. You could do a lot of good with it, but you could also do like a lot of bad, right? No, totally. And And I just, I don't want to give this money to someone who's gonna be doing bad with it. Okay. I, 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 know, this, I know this is a little awkward, but I, I can tell that you're a, genuinely a good person. Oh, thanks. I, I can tell that you're smart, funny, loyal. You know, I just feel that you would actually use this money for what you said you would use it for. I don't get why she's still there. All jokes aside, I mean, I, I would love to give you this $50,000 check if you would consider being my sugar you, baby. You're right, right, yes, I, I know, I know. And I, I know it's it's kind of silly, it's kind of funny, but it, it doesn't take much to see that you're honestly kind of perfect. Like you just, oh, you no. just you're, well, you're really perfect. There it is. You just, you just fit. You just check off all my, all my boxes of exactly what I want in a <laughs> I just, sugar baby. I mean, like, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even use that word more like a girl that I'm seeing. Okay. You know? Is it me or should she be gone by now? Maybe. I mean, she's waiting for her money. $1,500, $1,500. That's the whole point. That's, that's how we're managing to keep her there. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, seriously, like, I, I, I think you're, you're perfect. And, and I would love to give you this check. She should just ask for the, the visible thousand that's in the safe. 1500 whatever and just go why is she listening to any of this nothing has really happened yet but this is too right far. this is too far in what's your view on the whole sugar baby world what's my view on it on on it like like would i ever do it or how do you feel about the people who do that type of stuff i, I mean honestly i find it kind of funny do, do you think it's, like, do you think it's like stupid that i would write someone a check like that is that no, right? no 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 that's not it at oh, all like why, I, why do you think it's funny it's, it's the same. i don't know what i'm trying to say i guess it's just oh, why does it even matter like uh, what makes you think that I would want to do this? Do you, do you haven't said no? I, I mean, I also haven't said yes. She's thinking about it. From the moment that you walked in, I was like, this, this girl got it. Like, that's not true. That's not so. That's not so. So, what is it to you? It, just the fact that she's thinking about it this summer? You think it's she's been like about 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Why is she in? She should have waited by the door for the check. And when he wasn't Ooh. able to find it, she should just ask him to write a new check, grab the check, leave. I don't know why she's here still. And, you know, if, if I'm offending you in any way, like. I'm no, I'm not, I'm not offended. No, no. It's not that I'm offended. It's just like. Honestly, like, it's just a lot to take in. And it's. Like, it's just like, this is too weird. Why like, is it weird? I, I just, it's hard to believe you. Like, are you joking? Like, tell me you're joking. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. If, if you say yes, this check is 100% yours. But see, like, who does that? Who just, who gives somebody a check? Like, you don't even know me. Like, how do you know that I'm not just gonna like take the check, cash it, and then just never talk to you again? Like, I could totally just run away. The thing is, I, I know you wouldn't do that, Candace. Like, like, like you just, you just seem like such a good person. And I know that you, you, would, you wouldn't do that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be asking. You know, it's just like, it's so crazy. I can't wrap my head around this. Th like. th there's literally nothing to wrap your head around. Like, like nothing. If you want to do this, great. If you don't, I totally understand. But if you take this money, it would be based off trust. I, I mean, like, what would a sugar baby in, you know, like, what would happen? Like, would we go on dates, be romantic? So, so, so let, let me let me clarify this. You're, you're, you're saying that you're interested. No, I mean, I, I like, I, it's just, there's a lot to go through. And, and I mean, what, like, what's there to go through? Well, I mean, for one thing, I have a boyfriend. Like, well, you know that. You, you I, talk I, to I, him I, mean, I know, I know about that part. But, like, because you could easily fix that if you just, I don't know, break up with him, right? She's way too far in already. This is, this you, you, you think she failed already? I mean, I haven't heard her say yes. I mean, but I mean, ultimately, it's up to you, though. What do you think? I know if this is me in that situation. 
position, just me being this far already, I would have failed. If the roles were opposite and you were her right now, you think she would have been sitting here and being like, oh, he failed already? <laughs> she would have been downstairs already. Okay, yes, Candace is rather intrigued by Ken's offer. However, she still hasn't said yes or no, which means that she technically hasn't passed or failed yet. I'm gonna be honest, like, I, I hate to burst your bubble, but you know what they say, once you go Asian, that shit is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> She's considering it, man. Again, even though she might seem interested, Ken must go on until he gets a solid yes or no from Candace. Like, we didn't put all this together for JP to not get a solid yes or a solid no. Mm -hmm. It's just, again, it's just a lot to take in. I just, right. it's just gonna be really hard with my boyfriend. Like, he's definitely not gonna be okay with this. Eventually, he's gonna find out, or he's, you know, like, right. things are gonna happen. Right, so right, like, right. Oh my god. Oh, it appears that Candace is on the verge of failing. But again, speculation is not definitive, and we need a definitive answer if Candace is actually capable of trading JP or not. You don't, you don't have, you don't have to, yes, honestly. <sighs> See, I don't really know, like... I mean, you know, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, what, what would you... What would you want to do? I, I just... Well... <sighs> um, Candace, like... I understand this is kind of like a lot. I totally understand. And, and I'm telling you this right now, okay? If, 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 you, if you don't want to do it right now, especially because of your boyfriend, I totally understand. Like, you can walk out that door right now. No, I... I I'm... Definitely into it. I'm, I'm invested. All right. No. Oh, no. 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 I mean, I mean, what, what would you want to do with your boyfriend? I might just like, I mean, just not make it as obvious. And I mean, I can't break up with him like today or tomorrow. Right, so, yeah, yeah. Like, of course, I, I understand. I, that. And, but at the same time, like, I can't. No, no. Just... I, I know. I know. And, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if if you feel like it's just too much, and you just feel like it's. It's just something that you're not ready for. Like you can, you can, you can leave. Like you can walk right now. No, I no. Wouldn't, I wouldn't be angry. Like I, I was, I'll still give you your, you know, your fifteen hundred dollar rewards. And he's giving her chances over and over and over again, and she's on the couch still. He is giving her chances. It's totally okay. No, I like I, I'm, I'm down to do it. It's just like I, I gotta figure this out with him and like figure it out with me. I just, I'll, I'll figure it out. Like it might not be really soon, but it, it'll work out. I, I, I promise. Okay. This is, this is, I'm telling you. So Ken gave Candace chance after chance to back out. She was hesitant, she was nervous, and she could have just asked for the $1,500, but unfortunately, she ended up accepting Ken's offer and traded her boyfriend JP for financial stability with another guy. And because of that, people, she has failed this test. That's, she should have just asked for the thousand that's visibly in the safe, took it, and left or 1500 or whatever. I mean, well, at this point, Shit, what would man. give you peace of mind? Going down there? Yeah, no, we're, we're done. I think this is a fail. This is 100% a fail. I'm done. I, I gotta go down there. Oh man, I gotta tell you guys, after not posting for three months, it feels great to be back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for being here, but you guys just heard what JP said. He wants to go downstairs to confront Candace. I mean, ultimately it's your call. Let's go. Cameras, how we looking? We're going, we're good. Uh, battery levels are good. Audio levels are good, we're good. Now you guys know exactly what that means. Again, I know it's been a while, but when the break hits, pause this video, go use the restroom, get comfortable, and most importantly, I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. Damn. Candace, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, what the hell? Dude, what, are you busy? Should I come back? What are you doing? No, what are you doing here? Are you kidding me? Seriously, like, I don't, like, GP, I thought you were at work. What is going on? Like, what is, what, why are all these cameras here? Fuck the cameras. You said you had something to say to me. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what it is. Something along the lines of you wanting to break up with me. What are you talking about? I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, I actually, like, I don't. Yeah, you actually do. No, I really don't. <laughs> I was listening the entire time upstairs. I know everything that you guys just said. I don't even know why you're lying about it at this point. That doesn't make sense. You've been like, here for like 30 minutes talking to him about being a sugar baby. You've been upstairs listening the entire time? Why are you here still? That's the thing. I mean, I'm hanging out. I'm talking. Like, you're I hanging out and you're yeah. talking. With the, you don't even know his last name. So you're here to return the dog, get the check for both of us, and this leave. This is so ridiculous. Like, why is every, like, what is the purpose of all of this? <sighs> 
Okay. This, is, this is obviously to set you up to see if you're going to be faithful to me or not, and you failed. You failed. Like, miserably. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew something was wrong. You went along with all of it. Why didn't you say anything? You went along with everything. You're still here. He did say something. So, so th this is actually a test that we're doing. I, as JP was telling you, like, we were listening and watching, like, everything from upstairs. Right. Like, this don't worry about the cameras. Like, don't worry about the cameras. Well, well are you we, we just want you to be able to have a two-minute conversation with JP and stuff. And after that, like... We'll, we'll leave, or you can Guys leave whenever are you want to leave. Look like a horrible person. Like We're making idiot. you look like exactly how you are. You you wouldn't be in this position if you didn't do this to yourself. But I wouldn't. I mean, clearly, I wouldn't be in this position. I mean, like you set this whole thing up. Like you you set it up. So so that makes sense let me get this straight. That gives you permission to cheat on me. I mean, you put me here. So like you asked for it. Like you asked for this. Are to you happen. being intentionally dumb? You why are you no, here I'm still? Not being intentionally dumb. Like why why do you even like, why does this even matter at This all? matters because you're here still. If you would have just left, then yeah, this would have been my fault. I didn't trust you, whatever, but he brought me up multiple times and he actually gave you the ability to walk out of here more than once. And you're deciding what you're gonna do with the $50,000, exactly how soon you're gonna break up with me. You know what, this is just, this is all too ridiculous. Candace, like, can I ask you a question? Because, um, so, did you end up agreeing to be Ken Sugar Baby? Or I mean, like, not? at this point, he clearly doesn't believe me, so, you know, yeah, sure. Well, I don't believe you because I saw everything. I, I saw the truth. There's, what is there not to believe? You were here, at, Accepting it. Did you accept it or did you not? Or was I watching something different? You know what? At this point, like, this is just kind of pathetic. And Honestly, I don't really think it's too far off. Our entire relationship has been revolved around money. If I ask you to hang out, just us hanging out, doing nothing, you're tired. You just got home from work or you're just not feeling it. But if we're going to go to dinner, club, the movies, then you're, you're down. If it's revolved around spending money, Sure, but well, yeah, cause even like, today, I wanted to go to the park just to hang out. You kept saying no. The only reason you said yes because I offered what, to buy you food. I mean, because it's the fucking park. Like, who wants to go to the fucking park? Well, that's my point. Why does it always have to be us going spending money? I don't always want to do that. I'm spending money, time, energy, everything, and it's not being reciprocated back. Clearly, it's not because you can find other ways to fulfill that part of your life. So why am I here? You know, honestly, like... I think this is all really kind of pointless. And you're laughing at all of this. This is a joke to you. I mean, you're making yourself look to be the victim here. Uh, you're the victim. Yeah, I mean, clearly. I mean, hello, you set all this up. You have all these people here. I'm more of a victim than you are. You're sure. You're being intentionally stupid right now. Do you have, you, how, how is any of this my That's... fault? Are you kidding me? Seriously? Like, you set this whole thing up. I... You did. Let's look. <laughs> this, this is insane. Just, just, just leave. Just get the fuck out. I, I, just, just go. Okay, I, well, I'm done. Did you guys get all the footage you needed? Like, does this work for you? Cause like. Well, well, well again, like we're not, we're not trying to put you on the spot, which is why we're calling I'm, your face. I'm we're trying to put on your spot. identity. We're, we're not revealing any of that to like anyone and stuff. And right. um, yeah, he wanted to find out. Okay. Um, Honestly, Candice, yeah, like I, I could just sense it like from the beginning. Like, JP's making a lot of money now, and he's spending a lot of money on you. And like, it, he doesn't seem happy with like, how you're responding back to him with all the stuff he's doing for you. So it's like, why is he spending all this money? He's putting that back into his clothing line instead of spending it on you. When he's not really, you know, like, you, you yeah, know. Because again, we're, we don't mean to attack you here or nothing. I know you say you feel attacked and whatnot. Again, we don't mean to attack you. Maybe, I don't know, maybe give, give him your side on it and stuff. Like why it is that you only hang out with him when he's like spending money and stuff. I don't know. I, maybe that would help. I I'd love to know. I mean, honestly, like, you were cool from the start, like, you were cool for a little while, but I'm not gonna lie, like, I do kind of like the finer things in life, so... Okay, perfect. All that is right outside that door. You don't need to have any of that for me anymore. All those opportunities are right in that safe and right out that door. You don't need to call me anymore, text me anymore. <laughs> You can, I don't know why you're here still. It's I mean, it works. So, I mean, if you guys are gonna put this online, um, I expect- well, Again, we're covering your face. Yeah, we're okay, not but I expect anymore. a check, so, uh, <laughs> you know. Okay, wait, wait. And, uh, wait. If I don't get my money, I guess I will come back to you so that you will have no yeah. money for your shit. Uh -huh. Bye, guys. It turns. <laughs> what in the hell?